Hey guys, so today I am going to take you on a little tour of the bedroom. I promised I would show it when I finally got the headboard in place and finished, and since that is done, I'm going to give you the tour. So this is where it starts. I have a little uh, dog gate, that way they can't go in there during the day. And the doorknob is actually spray painted oil rubbed bronze. These are like old style panel type doors. And I think they were originally like a brass finish which was wearing off. So I just took them off one weekend and spray painted them. And then this is how the bedroom looks. Um, I'll start right here with the floor. This is actually just a cheapy rug that I picked up from Home Depot. It's an indoor outdoor rug. And I think I paid about $13 for it, but it's the only rug that's flat enough to allow the door to clear it, so it works perfectly. And then when you come in, the bed is right here. I have my nightstands, one on each side, and they're actually plant stands from Walmart. Our room was too narrow with the way I wanted the bed facing to actually fit a nightstand on each side and be able to open the door. So I took a long time to figure out what to do and it came to me to use plant stands. So I just did them with some chalk paint. I've got some books, a lamp that I picked up at a little consignment store for a dollar which you've seen in other videos. And this is a little squirrel night light. He actually lights up. On the lower shelf I just have some magazines and books and then a little bin to hold the remotes, room spray, and lotion. And then this is the headboard. I showed that in another video too. This was actually a free Craigslist find. And it was more like a colonial style with some engravings and stuff on it. So I turned it around backwards. And it had more of a like a farmhouse, like rustic type feel. You can actually see the wood grain. Um, and those lines, I wanted a planked one. I actually just carved those in with a handsaw. It took a long time. I sat in the living room, measured them all out, uh, used a ruler to trace them on with pencil, and then I just followed down the line with a hacksaw. I probably spent a good two hours working on it, but I'm happy with how it turned out. I got the paneled look and I didn't have to pay a thing. The comforter or duvet cover is actually something that I paid full price for, but I got it from Ikea. And I think it was around $30. And it's just kind of like a ticking stripe. It's a light blue and white. And it came with the two pillows. The pillow in the middle I picked up at a consignment shop for $5. And the other two are yard sale finds. They're Ralph Lauren pillows, and they were a dollar a piece. So for right now, for summer, I feel like it has almost like a seersucker look, which I liked. Now let me try and show you over here by the window without getting the light terrible. Okay, you can see that I put two oars up on the wall. Um, they're just TJ Maxx finds, not in the same weekend, just things that I collected and I thought they looked okay there. There's a painting over here, or not painting, pictures, and they are from Lake Ontario, and it's a view of the bay. I will try and take you over there slowly to see without making you too dizzy. So yeah, it's just a view out the window of the cottage of some of the boats in the bay. And then you can see here is the uh, curtain tiebacks that I picked up at that yard sale for the dollar a pair and I just spray painted them a matte white. The curtains are from Better Homes and Gardens at Walmart and they have a really nice texture to them. Okay, that is just a quick view into the yard. And then when you come over here, I have a tall dresser. And the dressers in my bedroom are next on my replacement list because this one is starting to break in the back of the dresser actually. And the drawers don't have like stops. They will fall completely out if you're not careful. Um, but I got this for $15 at a consignment shop and it served its purpose. The knobs are from Hobby Lobby and they just have like a distressed iron look and I'll take them off and use them on the new one because I really like them. And then up on top of the dresser I have a small gallery wall and I have over here some books that I had picked up recently, some collecting books and an 
old pewter book. That is a piece of coral from Home Goods. It's a, I think, Cynthia Rowley brand. And that is that jug that would never dry. I ended up actually washing all of the Mod Podge out and just painting the outside of it with a Mod Podge mixture. It went on thin and it dried and it's got a bluish tint and I'm happy with how that turned out. Um, so now onto this wall, I'll show you really quickly the pictures. The two over here I picked up at a flea market in Atlantic City and I've reframed them and trimmed them a little bit. Those three are pictures of Brigantine Beach. This one is a J. Crew coaster, and I just put it on a, uh, a decorative paper and framed it. That is a printable from the internet, and I printed that one because it looks kind of like me from behind, the dark hair, and I like to wear it up with the striped shirt. And then up here in the dog bone frame is actually a picture of me and Macy, and that is on my wedding day. She was like my little doggy maid of honor. That is my husband's closet. And then you come over here to this wall and there is another dresser. This one I think I paid $40 for and this one is still really sturdy. Um, I think it's a French style, but the bottom two drawers hold clothes. The top drawer you may have seen before I put it on a hinge so that we could keep our like our equipment in there, you know, like uh, TV boxes or things. And then right here I have three more of those J. Crew coasters in just small picture frames that I picked up. Uh, my TV I've had for years. It's probably almost, I want to say like 10 years old now. It's got to be close. Um, but I love it because it's small and it's white. And until I had seen this TV, I had never seen a white one before. So it kind of just blends in. Um, Next to it I have a dog bus, which is something that I had in my house and I moved in here, and one of these Ikea fake plants, and I am in love with these fake plants. They look so realistic, and you can't kill them. And then this wall I haven't done anything yet to. This is just the one where I keep our dog beds. I took them out for the video so I'd have more space to walk around. Um, but yeah, that's the bedroom, and right now we still have just the standard light fixture. I'm thinking of doing a country type chandelier, just like a small one, um, and we'll see how that goes. But actually in here I painted the ceiling too. I kept the, wall, the walls and the ceiling the same color. I liked the way it carried up. It kind of makes it feel like taller and cozy at the same time. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my tour of my summer bedroom and how everything turned out. Thank you for watching.